All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Big. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Right hand punch to the clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator, not a fighter, you see that? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Oh. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Able to check the high kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh! Dig his kick. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Now connects with the right. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Three minutes to go. Overhand left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Beautiful body kick. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice punch land. Already taking effect. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him put a beautiful take. Oh, wow, oh, oh! Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von Flu. Wow. Tonight. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Well, he's got him softened up here. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Back to the feet now. Nice loop and punch. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Again, they clinch. Massive knee to the body land. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Great punch. All right, single collar tie now. Big leg kick land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
Well placed kick there by Lee. Punch coming, it's blocked. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. He lands flush with that right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big head kick lands. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Boy, Thai Plum. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this fight. Ooh, what a punch. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Let's go. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to pull counters after blocking shots. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice punch here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, combination lands. You wanna talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, nice leg kick. These old guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. There's no oh, kill. Big knee. Oh, oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Try to establish that jab. Oh, oh look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, 
he will get the victory. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Missed with that jab attempt there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, a nice slip, and then the counter finds its home. So really starting to put it all together on the feet. And as his coaches suggested, making good use of his reach advantage. Punch over the top. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Overhand block there by Lee. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Real quick leg kick. Let's get some Let's get All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Nice kick. Oh, nice. Whoa! Nice. He's out! Oh, my goodness. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So. Near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.